say something for a minute real quick. Um, hi. Thank you for watching my channel. I love you. You're adorable. My job, part of being a journalist, is detective work. You know, Go to the crime scene, figure out the clues, find the clues, figure out what happened, why it happened, how it happened, when it happened, who it happened to, the, the whys. Um, trust nobody. When your mother tells you she loves you, you check it out. That's journalism. You're not the watchdog for the elite, or actually the guard dog. So the watchdog is the one that watches out against the elite. The, that's the guards the sheep against the wolves. The sheep dog, right? They've turned into to guard dogs to the elite. So, the globalist. You understand what I'm talking about. So, <clears throat> propaganda, dis disinformation. My speciality was basically to know it. To know it when I see it. To be able to basically code what they're really saying. Their intentions. You'll, you'll hear it. When you're watching the news, it's really easy to see. Usually if it's personal, they get passionate about it, or they demonize an individual, they bring them up in the negative. That's the best way to put it. Trump, for example, he was put 99% in the negative. Everything they would say about him, the stories that would come out about him, were always slanted to, to make him look like he was doing something wrong. He was in the wrong, period. When you do that, people that are don't know any better, they're not into this, they don't understand journalism, they don't understand disinformation at all, they don't understand propaganda, they're literally just clueless to it, and they care less, low vibration a lot of times, but they will believe everything they hear, and they will go along with it, a lot of people believe that Trump was a bad guy, and these are the same people that were saying he was horrible, the same people that were kissing his ass to get on the show, and all this other stuff, man, and he had so many, come on now, racist, please, the dudes that, here's the thing about being a city kid, right, I'm a city kid, I grew up in a lot of poor neighborhoods, I mean, he, the guy was rich, whatever. But you, when you grow up in the city, you don't have you don't have that country sensibility. Not that there's anything wrong with the country, right? People are very set in their ways, either way. But like the city, you you blend. You have to. Like one of my best friends at the uh, when I was in third grade was his name was Noel. He was a Vietnamese kid, awesome. But his father was a racist. He hated white people. I hate kid. And Noel brought me over to his house one time, and his father flipped out on him. And so I, he's all you have to. So I understood. So yeah, yeah. So I've understood about racism. And it comes in every shape and size. I've had, when I was four years old, my little neighbor across the street that I used to play with, they were Mexican. And his older brother found out he was playing with me. And he actually literally told the kid to beat me up. So the kid punched me in the face. Well, that didn't work out the way he thought it did. Because I'm one of those weird people that you punch me in the face, I don't curl up in a ball. I strike hard and heavy. That kid didn't know what hit him. I was on top of him, wailing away. I mean, of course, I was crying. I was four years old, right? I was pissed. <laughs> and his cousin had to pull me off of him, and he didn't touch me because my dad would have, you know, beat the hell out of him. But um, here's the interesting part about that little story, right? My father and his father were buddies. They'd hang out on Saturday and bullshit while they're mowing the lawns. It was really, you know, you know. Anyway, this was like in the early 70s. So... And I, here I am, my first fight, and I won. And I didn't start it, right? But I was victorious. So I'm marching home. You know, I know my father. He's macho, right? He's a man's man. So I'm marching home to tell my father about the victory that I just experienced, you know, over my foe or whatever, you know. My father, upon hearing about me fighting the little boy across the street and beating him up, I don't think I really explained it right, maybe. But long story short, my father, being who he is, Made me go across the street and apologize to the family, to the father, to the mother, and to this little boy who punched me in the face, and to his cousin. Talk about humility, right? He took this victory away from me. <laughs> Taught me one thing. That even when you win, you lose. When you're victorious in a violent encounter, you still lose. And it's true, because you've, you've had to lay your hands on another human being. And that's a terrible idea. It's a terrible thought. I'm rambling, but that was just, you know, so I've experienced, you know, I've had guns pulled on me by, by, you know, 
people of different, you know, I don't know, pigment, oh, skin pigment, whatever it is, you know, I've, I've, I'm a city kid, right? So you, you, like I said, city kid, you don't hold grudges. You just know everybody's people. Everybody does their thing and there's, yeah, I just don't see it. Most people don't. And that's why Trump is a racist. All this bullshit propaganda. But anyway. But anyway. So race. I mean, there are people who are ignorant and who, who buy into that racism bullshit. I'm not saying racist as, you know. But but in reality, like I said, to judge a, an entire race of humans on the, on the ignorance of a few is just absurd. And I don't buy into that shit. And you shouldn't either. Because most people just want to be loved. Straight up. And if you want to be beat, you need help, babe. Because they're, that, they're out there. They're sadomasochists. Or just masochists. Like, like, I get spanked or whatever. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Just love yourself. And yeah, please, love yourself. And then you'll heal yourself. I don't know, hopefully. Love and light, people. I'm going to get out of here. I just wanted to do this real quick. But um, propaganda's out there, babe. Um, don't listen to it. Don't believe everything. Be the detective. Be your own detective. Be your own Sherlock Holmes. And Robert Downey, hell of a job, man. He's a good guy. Um, but yeah, be your own detective. I, I mean, that's another thing I was going to bring up. When I was a kid, I used to read, um, I was in Encyclopedia Jones. I loved mysteries. I loved uh, Hardy Boys, uh, Nancy Drew. I read it all. I loved the series. Sorry, the series. I loved, you know, I was a reader when I was a kid anyway. I was grounded a lot by an evil stepmother. God rest her soul. Anyway, love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Love and light, people. And keep the faith and be strong for me. I'll be strong for you. Okay. Okay. Love you, light. Love you, light. <laughs> love and light. <laughs>